Appreciate you, Coach. Well, later tonight in November, snowfall is forecasted to hit the Twin Cities, but right now, calm outside, and of course, a calm day inside U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the Minnesota Vikings. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as those guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Kamara. Space to maneuver at the 40. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. This will be fielded at the eight. And he's all the way up across the 40. And down at the 42-yard line. Great return. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big-time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at their own 42. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. From just shy of midfield, Cousins, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play fake. Cousins. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. They begin on the ground with Kamara. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. about a gain of three and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day
Third down. Here's Haskins. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. This is taken around the 12. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start first and 10. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. On play action, Cousins. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Marcus Davenport in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Single, single. Hey, watch number 33. Watch number 33. Tight to the white boy. Tight to the white Third and long for Cousins. And he finds Kirk. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The play began back at the 23, and they pick up 23. First and ten. On first and ten, Cousins. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it. Couldn't get it. And it's second down. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Cousins. And that'll be incomplete. He was trying to find Chad Beebe that time. But now it'll be third down. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk about how offenses get locked in, and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 36. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. First carry now for Alexander Madison. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Escaping the pressure right. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away at its second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Cousins. Flushed out right. And his throw here is incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Working out of the gun. Cousins. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. Twelve yards there. First down, Vikings. A cool little accomplishment for him passing the football. 25,000 yards. He just surpassed that for his career. When he was a little guy in the backyard just throwing it around probably with his dad, he thought about playing in the NFL. He dreamed of it. But to put up these kind of numbers while doing so, that's got to be kind of cool for him. He'll enjoy the heck out of thinking about that when this one is over. Second and five now. Cousins looking for his tight end Rudolph, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Marcus Williams. He's at the 50, the 40, 20, 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Let's go, touchdown, baby. Let's go. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Next to score, Saints 14. Vikings nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Throwing Cousins. That'll be complete to Cook. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. Cousins to throw it. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week when he was over 70%. Right now, he's under 50%. Well, that comes from extra game film, extra time. You know those guys watched him all week, saw how precise he was, and constructed a defense to try and chip away at that, and thus far they've been successful. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. On first down, it's Haskins. He sets to fire deep. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They go play action now. Jackson, Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, this is going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Throwing on second and eight. Haskins eluding the pressure right. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Anthony Barr. And he's going to score. It's a Viking touchdown. You think you're going into halftime with a good size lead? Not so fast. That pick six really changes the complexion, probably also changes the halftime speech. No doubt about it. Instead of going in relaxed, you're probably a little more uptight right now, probably a little bit angry. Let's see if they can get their focus back. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? You know, <laughs> you're right, because that's part of it, but that's two different mindsets. That's front office mindset, draft position, where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, pride. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? He's letting it front and got his man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 32 that time. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. On second down, here's Haskins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Everson Griffin on the sack. Taken to the fourth round back in 2010. What a steal. On third down, Haskins. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. Gain of nine that time on the scramble. One yard shy of the marker, and it brings up fourth. Now Lutz for the field goal try. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. Hey, we're good, we're good. Check 45 to Mike. 
check, 45 to Mike. Let's go one more. Two, two, two. Leave it, leave it, three, 48. Tupper, Tupper. Go, go. They just do get the playoff. Now Cousins. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. On the ground, Kamara. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Again, it's Camaro. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. From the gun, Haskins on third down. And this is going to be hauled in. Oh, what a catch at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to zone. And Kamara has it stripped. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They'll run it with Kamara. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground. Whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Right there. 54. On third and goal, Haskins escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. A big pick up there on the scramble. Cousins now to throw on first down. He'll rifle this one deep right. It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, Vikings. Adam Thielen. His ninth touchdown of the season. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make it 17-13. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Let's go, Let's go. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Set, ready, set, ready. 54, line 54. I'm coming for the sun. I'm coming for the sun. Watch the safety creep. Check three, check three, check three. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. He'll have a first down past the 40. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creeping. 
staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They all go buy them dinner, but after a play like that, he might reduce it, might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. That? Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Now it's Haskins. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. You got nothing to Hey, Delta. Mike eight. Mike eight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you know From just shy of midfield. Cousins. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. That catch good for five. It's third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. The Vikings on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. Seven. Now Cousins. And he's able to find Diggs. The Vikings first down. Diggs able to find his way free and get the catch from Cousins. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Madison running on first down. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. To throw is Jackson. Flushed out right. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Appeared to me he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield and try to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right, though. Yeah, much easier, obviously, for a right-handed quarterback. If he was going to his left, a little bit tougher. Exactly. Cousins from the gun on third. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. They'll run for it with Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Vikings have taken the lead. The extra point splits the uprights. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now it's Haskins. Now a desperation throw deep down. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, New Orleans. Antonio Brown, his fourth touchdown on the year. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Back to throw. Steps away to his left. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And so much for the game-winning two-minute drive. I think that interception return there pretty much seals the deal. And one thing to keep in mind, in this situation with the score that close, Defense isn't backing off and just giving you easy throws. They're playing aggressively as well, and they end up picking that one off and sealing the deal for themselves. Lutz with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
This is taken at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They... He's got a man complete. The 20, 10, and he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Hey, 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 we got three down, three down. My game, my game. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Blue Dan, blue Dan. Gun. Here's Cousins. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Running with Camara. Pass the 20. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there, Hal. 45. Again on second and 10, it's Jackson. He'll find his receiver. That's Chad Beebe. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 43. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. First and 10 at the 43 line. A first down throw for Cousins. He's going to let it fly. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They'll throw again. Cousins. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. One last shot now for Cousins. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. 
So for New Orleans, it's a win they needed, if for nothing else, in their sanity as they move to four and six. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, it's a loss that will drop them back to 500 through 10 games. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.